Hello, and who doesn't like a piece of chocolate cake? But often when I eat chocolate cake, I'm always disappointed because it's not the perfect chocolate cake. And this one is going to be, trust me, Setting yourself up there. Setting myself up very <laughs> high standards. First of all, we're gonna, we've got some light brown sugar. I'm just gonna pop that into this bowl here. And I'm just gonna get the flora buttery out, which is really good for baking. And we're gonna put 175 grams of that with the sugar and we're gonna cream it. Can you just get the spin. electric to this guy for me? Yeah. I was about to boast and say it's funny, after a while you get to really know <laughs> measurements, but I got no. that completely wrong. <laughs> I'm gonna cream it together till it's really light and fluffy for about three to four minutes. See, look, that's creamed up nicely. Perfect. This is my favourite bit. Ta da! So efficient. Oh, thanks. Uh, <laughs> that was really my favourite bit. <laughs> now I'm going to add um, three eggs. If you add them one at a time so you can beat them in properly, I think that helps make the cake rise better. If you do it, yeah, apparently all thing. these things that I didn't know. In fact, actually, if we forget that I've started this and reverse, because <laughs> you know, whenever you read a cake recipe, it always says, grease and lime, two cake tins. And I was thinking, oh, why would I bother doing it at the beginning? I'll do it, you know, while the cake's sitting on the side. Uh-uh, you should never ever do that because while the cake is sitting on the side, it's losing air. So you have to have these uh, done, okay. first of all. So if you are watching, <laughs> rewind to the beginning, you need to do this first. So here I've got two 18 centimetre um, cake tins, greased and lined. I'm gonna put them on the side. Can you heat the oven? <laughs> heat the oven, the oven. And do that first eight. too. So, second one. So these freshly laid eggs by your hands? Yes, which I stamped myself. <laughs> Not for oh, the yes, supermarket well at all. <laughs> yeah. No. In fact, when there were the storms last week, we had you know the kind of mini eggs that you get from the shops? Oh. They laid mini eggs. In fact, because they're scared. Because they were so scared of oh. the storm. Yeah. Right, so that's all nicely mixed in. And I'm gonna fold that in. So that was 150 grams of flour. This is four tablespoons of cocoa. You probably, having met big all this sort of scientific stuff up, you probably should sieve it, but we never bother, do we? Sieving in the old days, I know it is to put air in a cake, but in the old days it was actually to get rid of bits of stone. And weevils. And weevils, yeah. And I'm hoping... We don't have that problem. Yeah, yet. <laughs> so it's fine. And do you want to do me a teaspoon of vanilla essence? Yeah. This is vanilla extract, actually, not vanilla essence. It's a bit more vanilla -y and yummy. And uh, I need a, a tablespoon of milk as well. Okay. And when I've cooked this cake in the past, I've noticed it doesn't spread very well over the bottom of the tin, so you have to kind of spread it for it. You know, sometimes you put a cake in the oven in, it, in any odd shape and it kind of all diffuses yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why, but this one doesn't. So those are to the milligram, equally <laughs> divided. And now I'm just yeah. going to smooth them down, ignoring the big lump of flour that I just found there. And mm, I'm going to nice. pop them in the oven for 20 minutes at 180. And while I do that, do you want to make a cup of tea? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So these beauties have cooled down now and they're ready to ice. I say beauties, but actually, turn it over, you can see this one sunk slightly and this one has listed ever so slightly, but it doesn't matter. Put them in an artful way and ice them and no one will ever know. So I'm gonna put this one flat side down on the bottom. I'm gonna put raspberry jam in the middle. You can put anything you want. You could put um, maybe some whipped cream with raspberries or strawberries in summer's lovely, but I'm just gonna do simple jam right out to the edges. And then I'm going to pop this on. So I'm going to hide the sunken, now that lovely flat top, by just literally just popping it like that. Now this is going to be the icing. When you melt chocolate, you mustn't do it at too high a temperature because it can burn quite quickly. And do it in short bursts. So I'm going to do it at 600 in this microwave for about sort of 30 second bursts. Give it a stir until it's all melted. And then all I'm going to do is, again, like the jam, spoon it on. I have to say this cake does look very homemade. That was the idea. By homemade, I mean slightly wonky. Uh, and I think a lot of younger kids find that kind of very rich icing too much. Um, but no kid ever seems not to like chocolate. So that was how I discovered this method. And there you have it. Ta-da! It's our chocolate cake. Hands in the air if you like chocolate cake. <gasps> I like chocolate cake too. Yummy. Mm -hmm. Straight in. Oh. That's, they are hearty portions, Mum. They are. <laughs> yeah. Growing children. <laughs> Should we no, share a bit? I might need a fork. Yeah. Oh, oh, so that's posh. So genteel. <laughs> yeah. I have to say, I say a more modest slice, but it's also got a massive slab of molten chocolate on ours. <laughs> Soft. This one is just literally picking off the chocolate buttons on the top. <laughs> I won't take that as an insult. So that is the world's best chocolate cake, in my humble opinion. Huh. Um, lots more recipes like this. If you want to click on the links below, below the video, happy eating. Oh, kids. Aww, <laughs> at that point. <laughs>